Hello, my beautiful darling loves. Welcome to your reading for the collective. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Gina. I do have other channels. I have a Leo-only channel, Cancer and Virgo-only channel, um, and then I have Divine Spirit Healing 1111. So the links for all of those are below. Um, readings can be vice versa. Flip it, twist it, reverse it to whatever way fits you and your situation please be sure to like share comment and subscribe click that notification bell so you know when my readings post um if you are looking to start your own tarot channel or if you're looking to um, learn how to read tarot you could check out my tarot tutorial the link is below it's about two and a half hours long if you would like to book a reading with me the link is below um, and I'm going to be using a new deck that I got in today. I really love it. The name of it is um, Shadow Love uh, Love Tea. Okay, I got it on Etsy. It's a really beautiful deck. All right, so let's see what we have going on here for the collective's person. Okay, so the first thing I'm getting here, collective, is you're dealing with someone here that is very insecure very insecure that is why they keep sabotaging the connection with you they have fear or doubt they overthink the connection they question your feelings for this connection so they do things they don't just sabotage like in a small way this is someone that like they pull out like they hurt you in ways like they do things that are just unforgivable Okay. <clears throat> There's like explosive arguments between you and this, this person. I feel like you're constantly making up and breaking up with this person. This is like an anxious avoidant type of energy with this individual. This is someone that doesn't believe that they're worthy of love. They don't, they don't manifest a positive mindset when it comes down to love. They like to walk around and say how everyone hates them. No one can stand them. Um, you know, uh, everyone leaves them. It's kind of like a woe is me type of attitude with this person. It's like they are the cause of all the problems. You may love this person unconditionally. You may love this person to the moon and back. They create problems in their own head. They sabotage the connection. This is someone that'll do things that is disrespectful. They will cheat. They will betray you. They will lie to you. And they do it intentionally because if they hurt you first, then you won't be able to hurt them. Okay. So you might be sitting in an energy here collective of, but I would never hurt any. I, I'm, I'm not out to cheat on this person, hurt this person. I love this person. I just want them to act right right? That, that may be where you're at with this individual, but collective, this is a very insecure person. This is someone that may, you know, like their early relationships, high school sweetheart, maybe someone here really affected this person to where their self-esteem is at an all time low. This is someone that feels that they are undeserving of love or that no one can or will ever love them. So, all those things that you do for this person to show your love, they're not accepting it. They don't believe it. I feel that this is somebody that had a karmic in their life. Um, this karmic may have put your person in some type of financial debt and I feel that every day, now that may resonate with some of you, not all of you, but every day your person is reminded of what love can do to them. Okay. So for instance, you know, if this person really came out of pocket for this karmic and, and, and paid for things or helped this person or whatever the case may be, it's like this person got themselves into a very serious issue because of this karmic situation and they're feeling like they can't get their head above water they're feeling that there's no way out of the mess that they caused and it's all because of this karmic it's all because they believed in love it's all because they believed and trusted this person and now they sit in an energy where they don't they just don't believe that anyone actually loves them 
this is someone that still checks in on the karmic. They have um, mutual friends and they still hear gossip about this karmic. And they make assumptions on this karmic based on the gossip. And they still judge, like this karmic is still a subject of conversation for your person. People still come to your person with uh, the tea about this karmic. This karmic that they dealt with was very abusive. This karmic has very intimidating behavior patterns. Like this is somebody that may have done something to your person's vehicle, done something to their home. This is somebody that may have antagonized your person to put their hands on them. And now there's a restraining order, or maybe your person is having trouble getting a job because this karmic put false allegations on your person. So this is someone that was tormented by a karmic in their past. And I don't think that your person has gotten closure or learned the actual lesson from this karmic situation. Do I feel they want the karmic back as of right now? No, I don't. I'm not seeing that they are looking to get this karmic back, but I feel like the anger is still there because every day this person wakes up and the remnants of what this, this karmic has done, what we have built bulldoze on this card, you know, so this karmic has destroyed your person's life in some way, shape or form. If they have a child with this karmic, this is someone that takes a lot of money from your person, doesn't let your person see the children. Like, you know, it, it's, it's that type of situation. There is someone here that really damaged your person. This karmic has really messed your person up in the head. Your person is not believing in love right now, is not trusting anybody. When, you know, when you say I love you or when you try to show your feelings and emotions, this is someone that's just not believing it. The karmic is still seeking attention from your person, but this karmic likes attention from everybody. This karmic is like an attention whore. This karmic was really big on forgetting important dates like your person's birthday or anniversaries. They would push your person's needs away and put other people's needs first. This karmic really and truly um, abused your person. They really and truly mistreated your person in every way, shape, or form. And I feel like collective, your person um, just hasn't completed that karmic cycle yet. They're not looking at the lesson. They're not looking at the closure. It's still sitting on them because every day they're reminded, you know, when they go to check their credit score or they can't see their kids, that this karmic is still, you know, all around them. The destruction that this karmic has caused is still all around them. You you know, uh, like I said, this person may have financial issues where they're having trouble uh, getting a job because this karmic put charges on your person. It could be anything. It could be so many different things, but your person hurts you deeply because they don't believe that you actually love them. They're not going to put themselves in a position where someone else will ever have the power to hurt them the way this karmic did. I feel that collective, your person has been sitting in an energy where they've been moving in and out of relationships. They are not healed from this karmic situation. They prefer to keep their connections short term and detached, short term and detached. I feel that collective, this person sees you as very different from them. You may have a very healed energy to you, a very ascended energy to you, and they are sitting in their shadow. They are sitting in darkness. That may be why this person continuously comes back around towards you because your healing energy feels good to this person. But I do feel collective um, that this person will pull you in and then push you away. They want you to feel ignored. They want you to feel slighted. They want you to feel like you're not getting the attention that you deserve or the time that you deserve. This person is basically punishing you for what the karmic has put them through. <clears throat> okay. 
This is an individual that is still extremely lovesick over what happened in their previous connection. They are sad that this happened to them. They are frustrated that this happened to them. And they feel that the core foundation of why they're going through everything that they've gone through is because they made the mistake of believing in love. They can't move on from it. I don't necessarily feel collective that your person is still in love with the karmic. It's the anger. It's like that, that feeling of how could I be so stupid to believe that this person really loved me? How could I be so stupid to think that, you know, this person really saw my worth or loved me or, or whatever the case may be. How could I be so stupid? I will make sure I never make this mistake again. Okay. And that is why collective, this is someone that is always sabotaging. This person is intentionally, consistently hurting your feelings, making you feel unvalued, making you feel worthless. They ruin relationships due to the fact that they don't feel that they are good enough and hurt people ultimately will always hurt other people. So because they feel that they are unworthy of love, this person is going to go throughout life making others feel that they are unworthy of love. There's two different types of people in the world. There are people that will go through a bad situation and would never wish it on their worst enemy. They will go above and beyond to make sure that no one ever feels the way they felt during that bad time. And then we've got people that go through bad situations and just spew that poison all over the place. And that's what you're dealing with here. You're dealing with someone that is sitting in an extremely low vibrational energy. This is somebody that is poisoned. They are toxic. They are a cancer to, uh, to the life of anyone that goes near them. This is someone that is detached. They are not emotionally available. Um, they, they keep you around or string you along because your healing energy is soothing to them. But then what happens is they're like, oh, this feels too good. And if, if, if the collective leaves me, it's going to hurt. So I'm going to sabotage this. I'm going to hurt the collective because they make me feel good. collective. I'm not sure that this is your responsibility to try to heal this person. Now, if you're a light worker or if you're someone that, you know, a lot of times light workers, some of you may not realize that you're light workers or that you're healers. That happens very often. You know, um, you may be drawn to people like this because you're healed. The healer inside of you overwhelms you and you want to heal this type of person. You want to fix this type of person. Um, and you confuse that very strong chemistry, that magnetic need to be around this person with love. You may confuse it. Okay. Um, this is someone that is not committed to the connection at all, okay? They will only come when it's convenient for them. This is someone that fears being hurt. They have abandonment issues, um, but they don't like being alone either. So they just juggle multiple people at the same time. They juggle multiple people at the same time um, when they don't want to be alone because they don't want to get too attached to one specific person. So this person does have other people in the picture. They don't like being alone, so they will call you one minute, call someone else another minute. They, they are not uh, committed to this connection. Now, Collective, why do I feel so strongly that you are just dying when this person isn't around? And I feel that it is very important for Collective for me to tell you that this is a very damaged individual and more than likely... If you feel that strongly connected to somebody like this, it's because you have a, a heart of a healer and you may find if you look back at your history of relationships that you are drawn to people like this over and over again. OK, um, and you may feel like your head over heels in love with this person. You may feel that, um, you know, you're dying without this person. You may feel trauma bonded. You may feel like it's narcissistic and this person is abusing you. Um, none of those emotions are actually a real thing. 
Okay. What's happening is, is that you're a healer and your heart is in sorrow because this person is so damaged and so broken and you want to love them back into a healed place. Um, I don't feel that in this particular instance, it is, it is something that you can handle. Okay. There's definitely third parties here collective. Okay. Um, there's third parties here. This person is definitely involved with other people. They will not be choosing any one particular person anytime soon. All this person has all around them is memories of how much love has, has messed with their life. I wanted to say fucked up their life. Okay. This person, it's like they seek revenge on everyone that comes around them. If you should dare to tell this person, I want you and only you, or I love you, or I will never leave you, or anything that this karmic may have told them, they will seek to hurt you. They will seek to hurt you because when you say those things to this person, your face literally morphs into this karmic and they will seek to hurt you. With pain principle here, this is someone who actually gets off on causing people pain. Anyone that says the words love or promises love or comes off in a light energy, like a, a person that sits in an energy, like your light irritates their demons because this is someone that is sitting in a very dark energy collective. When you sit in the type of energy that this person, you ever hear that saying, forgive people because if you don't, it's like, drinking poison and expecting them to die. This is someone that drinks poison all day, every day. They're poisoned on the inside and they will poison anyone's life that comes around them. And if you should dare to bring light anywhere near that darkness, they will go above and beyond to try to destroy you. They will go above and beyond to try to destroy the light inside of you. This person wants people to feel that love is not real. They want to show people, oh, you believe in love? Let me show you what, let me, let me show you what love can do to you. Let me show you what happened to me. Let me show you how real love is. This is somebody that wants to literally destroy anyone that is of love and light. This is someone that has allowed the karmic in their life to send them down the wrong path. Okay. Dealing with karmic soul ties is one of the hardest things we will ever handle in our lives. Okay. And it's like, you could either learn your lesson, do the inner work, close out that cycle and move on and be bigger and better to achieve higher things. Or you can bask in the trauma of that karmic situation, not accept responsibility. What you're dealing with here is someone that's not asking the correct questions. They're not asking what red flags did I ignore about this individual? What did I do wrong? What do I need to change to find love? They're not focusing on themselves. What they're doing is they're, they're blaming another person. Okay. There's always signs collective. My father, may he rest in peace, used to say, if you point a finger at somebody, you have three pointing back at you. And that is how you grow in life. Okay. Because when someone has bad intentions for your life, there's always signs, always. Everything that happens in your life, either you're always going to see a sign, whether you're awakened or not, or not, or not to see it, there's always going to be signs. My puppy buddy, he passed away March 12th. Okay. Um, Tuesday, he was 13 years old on December 2nd of last year, 2023, there was a Turkey vulture sitting outside my house, staring at my house intently. Okay. For hours, for hours. Turkey vultures are a sign of death. Okay. They are a sign of death. So, I mean, me being more of a spiritual person, I notice everything around me, every insect, every animal, everything. Okay. Um, but there's always signs, you know, there's always signs. Now I wasn't trying to accept that anyone in my household was going to pass away. So I just put it on the back of my mind, you know, but there's always signs collective always there's always going to be red flags before something happens. And the person in your life is not willing to accept that responsibility that they may have been at fault, that they may have ignored red flags, that they didn't, you know, see this situation for what it was. They allowed themselves 
to let this karmic destroy their life in some way, shape, or form. And now their mission in life is to prove to everybody that love is not real and love does not exist. So I promise you, collective, the more you try to show this person that you want to love them and prove to them that love is real. This is going to be an energy of you constantly, no matter how much this person hurts you, forgiving them over and over, um, showing them love over and over, doing things for them when you're not supposed to. They will run you into the ground, okay? Because with lack of, um, of affection here, you are not going to get anything back from this person. I promise you that right now. You will drain yourself to your core trying to love this person, okay? And let me tell you how intent this individual is on destroying you, is that every time you turn around to leave this person or say that, you know, you're not getting what you need, they will say things like, you see, I told you everyone leaves. You see, you said you'd always be there for me. You see, you see how you're a liar and they keep you going on the hamster wheel. That's how serious this person is about pounding you into the ground. So collective, the important question here that you need to ask yourself is, is this really love or is my heart just dying for this person because they are so wounded and they are so much in their shadow that I want this person to believe in love again, okay? This person has a dating vendetta. If you say the word love or if you try to show love, if you try to bring light into this person's life, like I said, it's your healing energy that attracts them to you. They are seeking out people that live in love and light. They are seeking out people that want to heal the world to destroy them. Okay. To destroy them. You are someone that brings hope to people. You bring love to people. You, you want this person to see through their pain. You want this person to see that there is light at the end of the tunnel. And with orbiting here collective, I feel like you want to stay around this person so that they always know that someone loves them. They always know that love is right here if they should reach out to grab it, okay? You are going to end up really hurting yourself if you continue to drink from this poisonous cup because you're dumping out all your love, all your energy, money, time, attention, trying to prove to this person that they can trust you, that, that, that you love them. You're trying to show them what love looks like. And when it's your turn and what they're trying to give you, the only cup that you're drinking is poison. You're going to end up feeling sick. You're going to end up feeling depressed. You're going to end up feeling dark. You're going to end up feeling just bad, unloved, rejected. You're going to find that, you know, you don't want to go to the gym anymore. You don't want to put makeup on anymore. You feel like you're not attractive. You feel like you're unworthy. You feel like, and what's going to happen collective is when you start people that operate from that, that lower vibration, it attracts negative entities. Okay. It attracts either demonic entities or it attracts lower vibrational ent entities. And that is food for them. And we all go where the food is, right? And they will attach to you and they will feed off of your pain, your despair. They feed off of that poison. The poison that will kill us is what these negative entities thrive on, okay? So be careful, collective, because if you continue down this road, those negative entities will attach themselves to you too. And it'll be harder and harder and harder. You know, this person wants to pound you into the ground. It'll be harder for you to climb out of that hole. Do not destroy your life trying to heal somebody that is not on a healing journey right now. This person is on a path of destruction and they will take you with them if you do not take a step back and realize that this isn't love. This is just the healer in you that cries for this person that's going down the wrong path. Okay. All right, guys, that's what I got for you. I love you all so much. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you soon. Take care, my loves.